a YouTube channel. It's been a it's been a little while since I made a uh, a video. I'm on the way back from California to uh, Nevada, and the roads, even on a Friday at 3:30 uh, p.m. Friday, um, this is April, whatever it is. There is nothing in back of me. I don't know if you could see there through the ladder. There's only one big rig and one car all the way. The road is deserted. I mean, this reminds me of when I used to travel this road during the 80s. And uh, it was just like this during the 80s. You know, uh, not as many people used to use the Interstate 15 back uh, in the early 80s, mid 80s because the airlines were so cheap to fly. It was roughly, uh, you know, 49 or 50 bucks round trip with Southwest or PSA. There was so many that were fighting for business. And of course, you still got the usual idiots uh, doing, I'm doing 70, I, I keep it around 70, 75. Speed limit is 70. Uh, but you get the occasional idiots that are probably doing well over a hundred uh, like that guy I mean that's nothing compared to uh, compared to some of the guys I've seen uh, these idiots I don't know what their hurry is there's nothing open in Vegas I still see him doing 120 miles an hour easily even in California uh, driving around Southern California these morons think just because the roads are empty they have a right to go as fast as they want. Uh, you know, the speed limit is usually 65. Uh, some areas are 55, depending on what city you're in. But the average is 65, and they're still doing over 100 miles an hour. And from what I've seen, I've seen a few accidents. These idiots just, uh, you know, they speed, and they can't control the car. You can, nobody can control a car at that speed. If you have to swerve suddenly, because you're going to get a guy who does not see you coming, uh, it's happened to me, the guy comes from out of nowhere, and uh, that's what causes the major accidents. Uh, especially the average person, even at 60, 70 miles an hour, try and swerve. Um, you know, I hope it doesn't happen to you. I, it's, it's happened to me a few times in California because somebody cut me off or uh, they changed lanes without the signal or there's something in the road and try and swerve at about 60, 70 miles an hour and you can lose control of your vehicle very, very easily. Now imagine these idiots that are doing 100 plus, 110, 120, maybe, maybe faster, I don't know. Uh, especially if you get a blowout and yes, you still can get blowouts these days. Tires, uh, tires do occasionally get uh, blowouts those were supposed to have stopped when the uh, tubeless tires come out but you still get blowouts uh, you know obviously so like I'm saying guys there's no reason to do a hundred and over a hundred miles an hour I mean who's in a hurry to go that fast where do you got to go that fast I mean you're an idiot if you're if you're one of these guys or one of these girls that are and especially, they're still on the cell phone, too, when they pass you. I ain't gonna lie, I'm looking at the road. You see, I'm not looking at the camera. But there are people texting. And you're an idiot. You're just a plain goddamn idiot. Whoever sees this, what is your hurry? What, where you gotta go so fast that you're risking your life, possibly your children's life? I've seen... I've seen women speeding over 100 with babies in the cars. Two babies in the cars, I've seen it. And she's on the phone texting. So these are the ignorant, uh, and I'm sorry, millennials. These are the millennials today. And I hate to say it, but some of these, some of these kids, I don't care if you're 25, 30 years old, you're still a kid to me. You're, uh, you're an ignorant moron if this is the practice you, uh, you do as far as driving. Slow it down. There's no hurry. Stop risking your life and especially other people's lives. You know? But I just can't believe that uh, the roads are so empty. It's unbelievable. Um, 
you know, if people weren't dying and people weren't getting sick, I'd say let this keep let this thing keep going. <laughs> it's it's great for people who are uh, driving or self-employed for a living or driving trucks. There's a lot of people who love it. I love it. Uh, I'm getting around in Southern California so easily now. Uh, you know, a 20-mile trip right now uh, when I have to go to work in, uh, let's say, from San Dimas where I stay, if I have to go to work in, let's say, uh, I was working in Southgate, if I leave at, say, 7 o'clock, I'm there by 7.30, 7.40 tops. And that's speed limit, 65, a little over 65, because I don't speed, I just don't. It's... When I was younger, a different story. But uh, I haven't gotten a speeding ticket or an accident probably in 40 years because uh, I mind I mind my driving. You know, I don't I don't uh, I don't mess around with it. It's important to keep those points off your license to keep your insurance low. Uh, and getting back to this, you know, getting back to the distance now. Before the virus, I would leave San Dimas at 7 and get down to Southgate at sometimes 9 a.m., two hours. And it's only about, I'd say, 25 miles, I think, something like that. And a lot of times I get off and I wind up taking the side roads because the freeways are jammed. So it's a big difference in uh, in travel time now. I, I love traveling in California now. I mean, there's no... Uh, except for goddamn Caltrans, man. God almighty. They really do wreck... Uh, they could really wreck a guy's day. Or anybody's day, for that matter. Caltrans. Well, anybody who lives in California knows what Caltrans is. The sweeper trains, the construction, that's all they're doing. You know, I know it's got to be done, but... It seems like they always pick the uh, the road you travel on. Every road you go on, it's Caltrans. Some of these truck drivers you got to watch out for too. They do they put their turn lights on their uh, turn signal, and some don't use it, of course, because they're young guys. They don't know how to drive trucks. I don't care what you say. There, these young truck drivers are idiots, as far as I'm concerned. Um, they put their turn signal on and they just come right over. They don't even look. I, I got cut over. I got cut off uh, twice uh, early this morning by a young truck driver. Uh, two young truck drivers. You know, just because you put your signal light on does not give you the right to just cut right over. If somebody would have been in the lane next to me, I probably would have wound up uh, either slamming on my brakes or getting in a minor accident. Minor? I don't know. But uh, the days of the safe truck driver are gone. Uh, these young kids today, they drive for shit. So, this is just one of my rants about, uh, you know, driving and the way the traffic is. Gas is uh, always good now. Gas is very reasonable out here. Uh, I've paid... Uh, the cheapest I paid this weekend uh, was... Well, not this weekend. Yesterday was uh, 240 in California. And that's unbelievable. So, usually where it's 350. But as soon as all this is over, I guarantee you, the gas will probably skyrocket. Uh, probably to, I don't know, 375, 395. It'll go back to close to $4. $4 again. I'm guessing. I hope not. Because it's going to take this country a long, long time to recuperate. And we ain't even nearly done with this virus. We're not nearly done. It's really sad. So luckily I'm still working, but now I'm finished with my main job and I don't have anything. So I'll just relax. I'll play the ponies tomorrow. I'll do another live video tomorrow morning and uh, play some horses. And even those are getting shut down slowly but surely. You know, there's not too many uh, North American tracks running anymore. So it's only a matter of time before they all shut down. So with that, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video for my uh, my subscribers. And you guys, I hope you're all staying safe. Remember to wash those hands. Keep your distance. If you got a mask, wear it when you're out. 
If you don't, hold your breath. <laughs> Everybody take care. Stay safe. And uh, hopefully we get we really get through this. This is ridiculous. God bless everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. Tommy T on the way back to Pahrump, Nevada. It's still empty back there. Bye-bye, guys.